hi everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new i'm sandy so i welcome you all and i'd love for you to subscribe i am doing a haul video today things that i picked up from timu and some clearance and other sale items i picked up from hobby lobby so let's start first with my timu items and I'll start with this guy. Um, I wasn't planning on buying this, but um, I think it was like $2. But I thought this might be good for storing some of my small little charms that I am starting to accumulate. So, and I feel it's pretty good quality. And the little snaps seem like they will stay um, secure. So I like that. And you have one. 28 little little squares so I thought that was a good good find from Timu and then I picked up a few dies so I picked up a bird die and I thought these little birds were just so cute and I want to try cutting those out I have a project in mind with those and then the next die here is this little nest die with an egg. And um, you can cut out multiple eggs and then put them in the nest. So that'll be fun to try out. And then I thought this was really neat um, for making cards, either gre <coughs> greeting cards or uh, junk journal cards. So we'll try that out as well. And then I picked up this embossing folder and I don't know if you all can tell what it is, but it's um, a bird is right here. I don't know if you can see it better this way or not, but there's a bird and then there's a bunch of um, plants, leaves and things like that. But I think that'll be fun to play with as well. And then I love these little cameos and I saw these and I think these were I think I got them for like four dollars I think if there's anything you're interested in from Timu just leave a comment down below and I'll give you the link but these have um, little brooch pins on the back but I feel like those can easily be removed um, I feel like they can be twisted or pried off pretty easily and then you could just glue these down flat um, I'll probably play around with that and see if I can get those off but I thought they're pretty good um, I would have maybe liked all like to get all white ones or all cream but I thought it would be fun to try these out and so the quality of them is quite nice so um, I do I do like that so I'll be that'll be fun to use um, you know, I really am enjoying the shabby chic stuff. So that'll be fun to do some uh, shabby chic projects. And then here I got a wax seal stamp. This is a bird surrounded by little leaves. And I forget what it says in there. And then I got a strawberry stamp. I thought that was so cute. Two little strawberries. And then I got some stickers and some washi tape. I loved these little bird stick, st uh, stickers. And there's 10 of them before they start to repeat again. Um, but I thought those were just a really good size to put on clusters or on tags. Um, so I like that. There's a whole bunch of those. Can't remember the price of those. And then these are um, bird clear stickers and I got them in three different colors so this is the blue one and these were called kingfishers and they're not individual so you'd have to cut each individual one out let's see how well you can probably see that on the back of this a little bit better there we go. But 
but it goes pretty far before it starts to repeat again. So it starts to repeat here. So, I mean, that's more than 12 inches. But the blue, I went ahead and got the blue. And then I got this. Uh, the red is called um, Bullfinch, is what the red one's called. And they do have a little bit of a shimmer uh, to them. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera or not. But again, um, I'm making this month a bunch of bird ephemera for uh, my patrons. I'm doing a bird nature theme. And then the green one is called uh, Spring Tit uh, Birds. But I thought they were pretty, and so I thought I would give them a try. And they were really inexpensive. I'm thinking they were like a dollar. And then I got some charms. So I got some bird charms. I got these red ones here. Which I think are so cute. It's going to put them in here. See, they fit so nicely. And then I also got some purple ones. I thought they were, I love purple. Aren't they the cutest little birds? So that'll be fun to make some little something, dangled jewelry something. And then I liked these birds too. I thought these were neat. They're like a, a bronzy color, just a small little, little bird. So those will be fun. And let's see, and I showed you that. So, oh, and the one final thing I got from Timu is this um, little necklace. And it has these pretty little birds. I don't know if there's any glare on there or not. But it's a nice little chain. But I thought that was sweet. And I think that's everything from Timu. So I'll move this off. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. And I started off in their spring section area. Because everything is 40% uh, off right now and they had these ribbons or actually it might have been more than 40 percent off i don't remember but oops um i thought these little it's pink little daisies and then these are yellow daisies and i thought i could always use those to decorate um different things up in our junk journals so i got those and then also in the spring section, they had these mini daisies, which I thought were so cute. And these were either 40 or 50% off, so I like those. And then they had these cute little wood pieces. And these were $2.49, but they were half off. And um, I just like the little bees and the butterflies and the birds and the flowers. So I thought those were really cute. And then I um, went over into the sticker section and I tell y'all I'm a sucker for these birds. So I got another sheet of these, $2.99. And if you, you wait till they're on sale, you'll get 40% off when they mark Paper Studio on sale. But I really like those. <clears throat> and then I had to go over into the jewelry section see if there was anything on clearance or on sale over there and this gilded age um, they were on sale 50% off so I got these cute little um, fruit charms are they adorable you have grapes strawberries and lemons 
so I had to get those. I hadn't noticed them before. And then the Explorer, they were 50% off, so I picked these feathers up. I thought these would be fun to do with some of the bird theme. And they're a little kind of that um, iridescent look to them. And then I really, this really <laughs> isn't for any project, but I really like this compass. And since it was 50% off, it was the last one. So I grabbed that. And same with this, this little owl. Um, I love owls. And that was 50% off. So no real project in mind for these yet, but since they were 50% off, and then this little camera also, 50% off. I thought that was really cute. Um, let's see. And then some more Explorer stuff. Here's a bunch of metal gears. I don't really need them, but I thought they look, I like the coloring on them. And there's quite a few in here, 28 pieces for $4. I know I could probably get it cheaper elsewhere, but. I went ahead and got them, and then I picked up these little, um, I don't know, they have a hole in the middle. They almost look like coins, but um, I thought those were neat also. You can always use those on spine dangles. And then I picked up this um, hourglass. I thought that was neat. So if I do a travel journal, I'll definitely use the camera and the compass with the travel journal. And with summer coming up, I probably will. And then, again, the Gilded Age was 50% off. And I thought these beads were really cool. Um, I love all the colors and then the gold detailing on them. So I picked those gold beads up as well. Or beads up. And then I picked up... I've purchased this fabric before. And I just think it's so beautiful. And it was um, on sale. Um, it was, I think, 40% off. Um, so I went ahead and got, because I want to use this with my patron projects this month as well. I think it's so pretty. Right. And then I think that's everything from Hobby Lobby. But my brother came in town this weekend. And he, him and his, um, uh, they had purchased some items. I forget what he said they bought, but it came with these little butterflies. And I thought it was so cool. He saved them for me. He's like, hey, would you be able to do anything with these butterflies? And I thought, sure, I could probably do something with them. But they have kind of like a little plastic center but the colors were really pretty and I thought well for sure I could probably use them on tags or on a journal page and I thought the colors were quite pretty so I think there's um what five in each package I think and these might actually even be different sorry for the noise yeah, these are actually a little bit different, so that's nice. You have some different different options there. So, so I thought that was... I love when my friends and family, they get stuff now, and they're like, Oh, could Sandy use this in her journals? <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, so these are the items that I got from Timu and Hobby Lobby. I'm super excited to get using them i want to try out my die cuts and i want to try out these stickers um, so i'll do some other videos kind of um using these and tell you what uh what i think but if there's anything from timu that you want to link for just leave a comment down below all right you all have a wonderful evening Again, thanks for all of your support and your shares and your likes and your subscribes. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.